Hey Pisces, welcome to your mid-monthly reading for January 2023. My name is Johanna. Welcome to Tenacious Soul. We're going to go through some general messages for you guys for mid-January into February here. So take what resonates, obviously leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, your rising sign. Well, let's see. We have part of fortune with increase. We also have solar eclipse with revolution and we have Sagittarius IC. Okay, we also have Grand Trine with Blessings. Okay, so there's definitely some sort of abundance here with this part of fortune and uh, blessings. I almost feel like you're unlocking um, like almost like unlocking like the part of fortune is a very specific part of our chart. Um, but it's almost like you're unlocking something here, but it's almost coming through like an awareness if that makes sense um i feel like there's a big change that's coming with this as well it's like going to bring expansion the sagittarian energy is making me think of jupiter so like there's a sense of expansion here for you pisces when it comes to an aspect of your life here could be with regards to your beliefs or travel or maybe you're expanding yeah just like where you live or where you move to we have um take a break it says life's a work not a season get a get off the treadmill i almost feel like this is going to allow you to to take a break um we also have birthing a new age it says birthing new creations dreaming a new world into being we have keepers of the earth. You are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. So yeah, there's like, it's almost like there's something that's coming here that's going to allow you to take a break or maybe you're taking a break and that's allowing you to, to start something new. Okay. Uh, this could even be like maybe leaving something behind, like literally quitting a job or whatever and like you pursuing something new. Okay. We have Lemuria creating heaven on earth. It's happening. So there's like this sense of you expanding big expansion energy here pisces interesting too that i mentioned jupiter because you with your pisces energy is also jupiter energy as well let's see what this is about for you pisces we have reflection here number 33 we have transparency i think you're you're starting to see something clearly here and look at that it says the energy of transparency supports our expansion towards a higher vibrational state of being with more insight honesty and clarity so you're seeing something very clear but in that it's allowing you to shift the energy it's allowing you to expand and grow here we also have transformation we have the fifth chakra which is the throat chakra and we have joy so you're feeling really good. You're feeling very, um, like you can emotionally express yourself. I also have the fourth chakra, which is the heart space. So you're feeling very um, connected to your heart. I, I do feel like there's a strong sense of clarity here, though. It's like you've really reflected on something. Maybe you've taken this break, allowed this reflection, or you're going to be having a break, which is going to allow this sense of reflection here which is going to allow you to create some sort of change. You definitely could be ending and starting new things with transformation. We have birthing a new age and we have the eclipse energy. So like there could be a really quick turnaround or a really quick change here that you really start to communicate. You could be expanding upon your beliefs. Some of you could really be getting into spirituality or your ancestral line or really getting into kind of ancestor work or um even just with regards to like your guides spiritual team anything in that regard um you can definitely be channeling as well or learning how to channel but it's coming from a really good space i feel like you're you're filling up your heart here you're filling up your own cup when it comes to um the things that you're doing there's a lot of expansive energy i almost feel like too you're expanding yourself and your like skill set almost um like some of you could definitely be like getting like, expanding into your spiritual 
um, gifts. Okay. And in that you're feeling very connected. You're feeling very um, like connected to your spiritual team, but also on earth, you're experiencing a lot of blessings because of this as well. Let's see what's going on for Pisces here. Mid January. We have the seven of pentacles. Okay. So again, investing time, energy, some of you really need to invest into rest here or invest into reflecting more where you are already. Yeah, we have the Empress. You're also waiting for things to grow and expand here in your life. I think you're really clear on what you want to grow in your life or what you're wanting to have abundance in. And I see that starting to unfold here for you. Again, this it's interesting too, this birthing a new age and then the Empress right beside it here. There's this sense of you birthing, creating things in your life whether that be people or that be um, projects, careers, money, whatever, right? I also have the world card. We have the nine of swords. One more here for Pisces. And we have the king of cups. Definitely your energy there. We also have the hierophant here. So strong Taurus energy. I also have Libra. Saturn energy, Sagittarius. Um, I feel like, um, don't let, okay, so don't let your mind or your, uh, your, yeah, your mind get in the way of uh, what you want to connect with or what you feel connected to. Um, I do feel like you could be closing out some sort of chapter here, almost like waiting for something to birth or waiting for something to be birthed or to be expanded upon. Um, especially if you've been, again, like working towards this or investing into this yourself. I, I feel like this is about um, staying committed to what's important to you with the um, Hierophant, like what's, what's of value to you, what's important to you, what do you believe in? Um, your beliefs could definitely be shifting here if you've been experiencing restriction in any sort of capacity, I feel like that's starting to shift and change here. But you may have to close out some things before these new things are birthed in your life, if that makes sense. Like, you could be waiting for things to expand, but in that it's like you're also waiting for things to close out so that those other things can expand. Um, let's get more on that for you, Pisces. And I think you're kind of almost like, I'm ready. I'm ready for this. Why isn't it showing up? I'm ready. Um, yeah, four of cups. It's like, where is it? Where is my, where is my cup? Where is the, the thing that I'm trying to connect with here? Yeah, ace of cups. I also have this ten of wands. We have the three of pentacles and we have the four of pentacles. So... It's almost like there's a bit of a, a barrier to kind of get something going here. Okay, so you might feel like things are kind of slow to kind of start here. Yeah, we have this Ten of Cups. So you could be feeling like things are, or it's like I'm putting in a lot of work and it's not really getting anywhere. Like where is my return for my investment here? Um, I feel like, yeah, you're waiting for for justice, for for things to work out for you here, but it's like you're not maybe seeing that. I feel like you're on the brink of a change here. Um, some of you are trying too hard to be seen or to be recognized, or you're putting maybe too much emphasis on that, if that makes sense. With this Ten of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles is about getting uh, being seen, being recognized for your gifts, skills, abilities, and people coming to you because they want to learn from you or they see that you're good at what you do. Um, and if you're, I almost feel like this Ten of Wands is like you maybe uh, in this space of like trying to do too much to prove to people that you're capable. I feel like the more you kind of, um, 
just allow this to unfold naturally. Some of you might feel like, you know, when we, we and I've experienced this where it's like, you want something to work so bad, you have this dream, you have this vision, you want things in your life to work. And then it's like, it's taking too long. And then you start to question like, well, is it gonna work out, right? Nine of swords here, like, is it going to, am I on the right path? I really want this to work, is it going to work? And then you start like p pushing and forcing rather than just like letting things naturally kind of take their course. Um, Justice is a really good card here indicating that things will work in your favor, but maybe in a different time frame than what you are expecting. Um, it's like you're waiting and like, where is this opportunity here? And if the opportunity is already here, it's like you're kind of maybe forcing it rather than letting it flow. Okay. And that's why you could be maybe feeling like there's this sense of stagnancy here. Um, give us more info for this new, this birthing of new energy here for Pisces. We have the Two of Swords. We also have the Hermit. We have the Eight of Swords and the Three of Swords. So, um... I almost feel like the more you sit and think about it, the worse it gets in your brain. I almost feel like um, there's a sense of an internal wisdom, internal guidance that you can tap into here when it comes to whatever this new thing is in your heart space here. It could be new love that you're looking for, whatever it is. But I almost feel like with the two of swords, eight of swords, three of swords, it's like when you, like some of you need to get out more, just go uh, like not be so on your own or isolated because it's almost like giving you too much time to be in your head, if that makes sense. Because um, Virgo energy is also mercurial, mer mercurial energy. <laughs> it's a hard word to say. Um, so, which deals with the mind and our communication. And so I almost feel like you have this natural wisdom within you, but then it's like when you sit too long, then it like starts to creep into more mental um, mindset stuff and mental blockages or you overthink things. There's almost like an overthinking. And so I feel like trust yourself, trust where you're wanting to go, right? Whatever this this birthing of this new thing, right? Empress, the world, Ace of Cups, we had the birthing of the new age. Like trust that, that that's the path you're going to be going down but then don't spend too much time like ruminating on it because I feel like you could kind of get caught up in a bit of a trap here. Um, it's like you're, you're, it's like an expectation of change or wanting things to change. Um, and then you kind of get caught up in your brain a little bit here. Yeah. We have the six of pentacles. So it's like letting yourself receive, letting yourself be open to, receiving here and being open to what that might be on how long that could take um slow and steady wins the race here so it's like slow and steady progress um towards your goals and your dreams be open to what that path looks like and be open to different paths that may you know it might not be a straight line there might be kind of twists and turns here you there's i feel like the opportunity to really start to expand on this is coming here for you pisces um, just, it's basically saying just tr just try not to get in your own way, and that's where that make that taking a break, you know, taking a step back, um, letting things kind of flow naturally rather than trying to force these changes. I feel like the change you're right on that precipice of that change, um, and it's just a matter of when that starts to that expansion starts to happen in your life but we can't always control that right there's a lot of external factors that come into that it's not just us um especially if this is with regards to like love or business or whatever aspect of your life like we don't always have control over over those things all we have control over is our mind and the actions that we take and as long as you're moving forward with those things and you're not holding yourself back then things will start to expand and things will start to blossom in your life um when you start to just have faith and trust and belief in the universe that it'll it'll deliver here so as long as you're coming from the heart space and coming from a good space i don't feel like you have to worry but there is kind of this feeling of like you trying to like um 
put everything kind of, it's kind of like very Virgo-esque, which is very opposite of you. So you could maybe have Virgo in your chart um, or you're just really tapping into that like earthly energy and needing to just trust more um, in kind of more your spiritual Piscean energy um, and let things kind of naturally flow, if that makes sense. So interesting reading for you, Pisces. Hopefully that um, resonates for you. Let me know down below. If not, you can check out any of your other signs, but I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.